Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today we are going to take a look on how we can turn any computer into a network attached storage solution, NASH. And besides being able to share the content across all our devices on the network, we will be able to install apps, services, servers like Home Assistant, Plex, By All, and so on and so forth using true NASH scale. Now today I'm going to use the GoIn R86S that we have seen in a previous video along with a 4 terabyte move speed SSD that I'm testing out in conjunction both of these. But this guide will help you to install on any computer that you have available. So today we are going to introduce True Scale NASH here on the channel so that as usual you get curious and try it for yourself and probably you will find that this will be a great way either to recycle your old hardware or as I will mention during this video and especially at the end of the video why should we use this machine and the advantages that are using this form factor right over here from GoWin. Now if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer and you still haven't activated your license don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen it will get even cheaper. So just in case you want to check that out I will leave the link down below just next to the GoWin R86 U4 and also the Move Speed 4 terabytes SS D, which is the hardware that we are going to use. Now, just taking a quick look at the GoIn R86S U4, link will be down below as I said. This is a machine that I'm testing out. It has five Ethernet ports, which is great if we want to set up environments with different networks. Not only that, but this is a great advantage. Besides that, it is aimed at a firewall and virtualization environment with Proxmox that we have been seeing here on the channel as well, with OPN Sense, PF Sense, among others. And this is probably one of the greatest advantages of having such a machine. It's running the CPU Intel 6005 quad core up to 3.3 gigahertz, 32 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, two 10 gigabit ports and three one gigabit Ethernet port. It also has two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2.0 port, a micro SD card slot, and when we open it, there is space for a NVMe SSD, which is where we are going to put in the move speed SSD. Now, when we open it up, as we have seen before, it has space for only one. So I'm using the four terabytes version, but depending on the needs that you have, move speed has several sizes. So I will leave a link down below so that you can check out. Now inside the package, we will find a Phillips screwdriver, some screws and a heat sink that I was not sure that I could fit in on the go in, but actually it did. And it fits really nice and it is in contact with the outside shell of the coin so it will make a giant heat sink in this particular case. In terms of speed, move speed is rated at 7000 megabytes per second reads and on writes but on my testings and probably I'm limited on PCI 3.0 I'm not really sure I still haven't finished the test on the GoIn I was only able to get roughly 3500 megabytes per second on reads and on writes but probably that it is a limitation that we have right over here depending on your computer that you are using you will get more advantage now for this scenario we don't need the 7000 megabytes per second or the 3500 megabytes per second because we are going to work as a NAS storage so we will be limited to our network 10 gigabits or 1 gigabit now having the hardware out of the way let's take a look at the true NASH scale and the installation which is really really easy and at the end of this video you will be able to start playing around with it installing your older or newer computer and have a great way of sharing and also installing apps. Now let's start by going to Google and search for true NASH scale. Once we find it out which is very easy we just need to download it 
and then create a bootable drive to true NAS scale. Now, if you have done a bootable drive for any operating system, it is exactly the same. But we have seen here two ways of having our own media, USB drive in this particular case, with several operating systems, Linux, Windows, and so on and so forth, so that we don't have to erase every time that we want to install an operating system, or we don't need many USB drives. So there are two ways I did share here. Just have that in mind. Check out the video. And the only thing that we need to do is when we download any operating system like True Nash that we are doing right over here, I just need to drag it inside the OS images that I want on a folder of this USB drive that we have created. And basically, this is it. Once we have that operating system inside, I just need to remove the pen put it on the computer that we are going to install, which in, the, in this case it's the GoWin, and boot it up. Once we boot it, we just need to go to the BIOS of that particular computer and select the pen. Now, in this particular case, I'm using the Medicat pen. So, once again, link will be on the YouTube cards, how to create it and how to use it. It's very easy. I just need to select the operating system that I want, in this particular case, TrueNash, and press, and that is it. Installation-wise, it's very easy. We just need to follow the guide and choose the disk where we are going to install and then just follow the steps. Now, there is one uh, thing right over here that I want to share with you. I'm testing out the GoWin uh, still, so I do have Windows 11 on the internal storage and I don't want to delete it just yet. But on a permanent solution, I would install True Nash Scale on the internal SSD and then on the move speed, which is on the M.2 slot, I would leave it to storage and probably I could partition it to install apps and so on. Now in this particular case I'm using the internal storage to test it out so what I'm going to do is to put an external SSD over USB 3.0 and use it to boot up true NASH or to install true NASH right over there. So just have this in mind. Now, once we decide which is the disk that we want to install, just complete the installation and basically that is it. At the end, we will have a message stating what is the machine's IP address and we can access it from any computer or mobile phone or tablet on our network. But installation-wise, this is it, as quick and as fast as you saw. Now, TrueNash Scale has a world of possibilities, but we are going to cover two points, which is how to share data, how to share a folder so that we can access from our machines on the network, and how to install apps on TrueNash Scale as well. Now, let's start with the applications. On the dashboard, we will find a lot of information about the machine that we are using, such as CPU, memory disks, resource usage. So if you want to explore that, just go ahead. But for now, let's go to storage pool and let's select the disk that we want to use for data. And then we just need to choose the type of redundancy. At this moment, I'm only using one SSD, so there is no redundancy. I will have to select Stripe. And that is it. I just need to give it a name and create it. And as I did mention that we are going to try two different things, installing apps and also having storage available to the network. Have in mind that these two scenarios do not work well on the same disk. So I'm going to show you how to install apps and then I'm going to show you how to delete the, those apps and use the storage for sharing on the network. Now, if we go to the applications, we just need to press it and the system will ask which disk we want to use to uh, install the apps. Now I did choose move speed and then it prepares the disk and we can start installing our favorite apps. Now there are a lot of them as you can see right over there and there are ways to install more than those that we can see on screen. But for now let's resume with those. I did install Pi-hole and it was working in about 30 seconds or so and I also installed Home Assistant. Maybe two minutes but it's the normal installation of Home Assistant and it's working great. Now this Home Assistant version as we install it is not the supervised version as we have seen here on the channel. I will not have links enough, but we have seen many ways of installing Home Assistant. This is the one that we will be 
limited in terms of add-ons and so on and so forth. But there are workarounds and I will share a dedicated video as soon as possible on how we can install Home Assistant Supervised on a true Nash scale machine. Now, this is the way to install apps. And if we have several disks, more than one disk, at least we will have one for apps and one to share data across the network. In this particular case, what I did, I did delete the part of the apps and then I could use it to share my storage across my network. Now, what I did was to activate SMB service and also NTFS. And then I did create one user that it can access the data on the disk and that we can share all the content that we have right over here with the machines that we want. And then as an example, I did connect with my Mac and I was able to put in and copy and whatnot in terms of data. So if I wanted to put my movies or series or pictures or documents right over there, I could create folders, organize everything, and that would be just great. So in conclusion, we can install TrueNash on any hardware that we have, but there are advantages of using a device such as GoIn R86 SU. Now, depending on the needs that we have, if we want to virtualize machines and so on and so forth, I would suggest to check out the model Model that I have, link will be down below, but there are several models, some of them only with three Ethernet ports, different CPU, different RAM, different storage capacity, and so on and so forth. So depending on our needs. In the past, we have seen installing Proxmox on a machine, how to virtualize services, and the biggest advantage right over here is that if I want a machine to replace my router, if I want a machine to have my home assistant installation virtualized with using Proxmox, OPN sensor, PEF sense, as we have seen, AdGuard, Ohm, Ohm Assistant, Plex Server, and so on and so forth, then this comes in handy because it has the power and it has a really small form factor that I can put anywhere on our home. Besides that, besides all this versatility, I also have an option right over here, which is one of the biggest options, and this is why it's targeted at firewall hardware. Now I do have five Ethernet ports and I can create different networks. So let's imagine that one is connected to my router receiving the data from my router and then here on the basement I create one network that only me can access it, isolated from all the other networks that I have on my home. Then I still have three available ports. So I can decide for the ground floor, one network. And for the first floor, another network. So depending on the needs that I want, I can do all that with this great small machine without much effort using Proxmox as an example. I will try to leave right over here on the YouTube cards if I still have links available. But this is one of the biggest advantages. And of course, the small form factor with all the functionalities that it has and capable of using true Nash as well. So these are some of the scenarios that I would use instead of using a older computer. Having that said, hopefully these ideas and the true Nash scale installation with some of the possibilities that we have helped. And if it did, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.